Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And in this one, guys, yes, we got a little mask, you got the knife, and we are going to be doing another coin roll hunt. Let's what we see. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Dun dun dun! Nickels! Yes, sealed box. We're gonna open it up with my handy dandy Laura Blade custom Raven Hot Coin Blade. And see what we find. More than likely, it'll be uh, circulated, but you never know. And remember, cut away from you. And me and my crazy res Russian hacker line. Remember, welcome to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. And let's get through here. And my cutting and dexterity is still a little off, guys. So sometimes it's a little, a little hard, but here we go. All right, and we have circulated nickels. So we will look at the ends and see if we find any obvious enders. If we do, we will open that live on film. If not, we will come back with the nickel mids and see what we find. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins, guys. And we finally have found something. That's an ender. We got our nickel mids all ready to go, but hey, we finally found an ender. So we're going to do that one live and see what this is. So let's get to it. And bear with me because it's been a while since we've had an interesting one. Well, not interesting video, but interesting ender. Um, let's see what we got here, guys. It's the first one on here. It is on the end. And it says it's five cents. Yep, five cents. And it is from the Bahamas from 2000. So that's pretty cool. Get a nice little coin to start off with a Bahama Ender. We're going to get right to the <laughs> through the rest of the this roll in the edges oh there's a pretty nice looking one there and see what we find raven hot coins stay tuned hey everybody welcome back to raven hot coins and as you can see we got through the first nickel mid we have our highlights we're doing it the normal way we got the 64 galores a 1963 a 62 a 59 257s and then a 1953D, which doesn't look too bad. And I'm just going to show the older key dates to kind of help, or, you know, more key years to help get through this a little bit quicker. Then we also found a 1948, and I believe this one is a Philly. No, wait, it's, it's a Denver. So 1948D. And then a 19, two 1941s, which I thought are pretty cool. We'll bring them up here, get a little focused in. Yeah, so you got two 1941s, and uh, one is Denver, and the other one is Philadelphia. So not too bad for the first nickel mid. We're going to get through the next one and see what we find. Raven Hot Coins. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. We did see this when we opened it, but we will highlight it one more time. This is the nickel from the Bahamas. It actually has a really nice reflective background to it. Pretty cool with a little pineapple. Should have known that I needed to rotate it for a foreign, foreign coin, but we're going to get into the next nickel mid and see what we find. Raven Hog Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And as you can see, we got through the next nickel mid. And we have our highlights here. We're going to go through them real quick. We found a pretty dirty, but still a 2009D, a 1958. Uh, I think this one is just a, yep, it's a Denver. A 1952S. Which, that's not bad. That's a semi-key date. A 
41. Uh, let's see here. Philly. And a 1940. Uh, let's see here. This one has... Yes, it has a mint mark. Let me check with the handy dandy jeweler's loop here. It's an S. I'll have to look at that under the scope. That looks interesting. But yep, it's an S. So not too bad. Uh, no silver, no buffaloes. But we do have a 2009 and a 1952D. So we're going to move those over to make our next highlight spot. Raven Hot Coins. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hawk Coins, guys. And as you can see, we have gotten through the next Nickel Mid. We have our highlights over here. We got two more Nickel Mids to go, so we're not doing too bad. Uh, this time we pulled a 1957, and that was a D. A 1954, uh, this is another D, Denver. Let me get that focused in a little better, 1954. And then here a 1949. And that was a, let me see here, pull that out real quick. Denver, 1949 Denver. And then a 19, oops, 1952 Philly. So not too bad at all, guys. We're going to get through the next nickel mid see what we find hopefully get a war nickel but you never know guys either way so far it's been fun see what we get raven hot coins stay tuned hey everybody welcome back to raven hot coins and as you can see we have gotten through another nickel mid and the first thing that we're going to highlight is two oops 2009D that we pulled and then a 1964 uh, Black Beauty if you see how this is black all the way around even on the rims and edges and the front the obverse and the reverse and what a Black Beauty is is actually a lamination error where it turns the coin black over time and those hold a really nice premium, so really happy to find that. And then we also got a 1953 Denver. So not too bad, guys. Still hoping to get something special like a war nickel or whatnot, but you never know. Um, you know, just happy to get some good stuff as it is. Oh, there we go. A little better angle. So we're going to get to the very last of the nickel mids and see what we find. Raven Hot Coins. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And as you can see, we have gotten through the final nickel mids. My hands look really dirty, but the nickel mids are all done. We actually ended up with two more 1954, and both of these bad boys were actually D for Denver. Not too shabby. Get a nice look at the fronts. And uh, I'll take, <laughs> bring this back to show you one of the reverse to see that you can see they are D's. And then we ended up with a 1949 Philly. 1949 Philly. And then two 1948. Uh, this one is a Philly. And this one here is a D but this also if you get the right reflection has kind of that wood grain effect and you can get that same what they call woody air in nickels so not too bad guys I mean we have three three 2009's we got the Bahama coin we'll call it the Bahama mama but really cool everything from 64 galore which you know, some people ask me, why do I keep certain coins? And I do from 64 down to uh, 50, 59, 60, just for illustration purposes. I keep anything that's 59 and older that's in decent enough condition that I can turn it around and make something from it. So, guys, 
not too bad. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up and, you know, uh, take care of one another. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhotcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 2825 Vista, California, 92085. Remember, guys, we only all grow together and support one another to do well, so make sure you do take care of one another. Raven Hot Coins, have a great day.